parents and other humans of Instagram and Facebook, we've got a really special art hop coming up in April. April 9th and 10th, we'll be featuring youth art. So if you've got a kid or know a kid that creates something and is proud of that, uh, we would like to feature that art for a couple days in downtown Hanford from 6 to 8 p.m. on April 9th and 10th. Uh, yeah, so I don't care if they are ripping weeds out of the ground and taping them to a piece of paper. If they're creating something and devoting some of their creative energy to making something and they're proud of it, we want to showcase that art and our downtown shops are happy to play gallery for that. So reach out to me, uh, shoot me an email or a phone call or message my page, which is the Sizdriad page, which is that super weird name, uh, but do that. Um, so not only will we be validating these kids' creative efforts by showing up and expressing interest and excitement over something that they have created uh, and showing them that their time spent creating something was valuable, right, and is appreciated by the world around them, which is super duper important, we will also be using this art hop to introduce it to our community, Create California, and the idea of arts integrated education. I'm working with our new superintendent, Todd Barlow, and his office to introduce this concept to our area. So Create California is a statewide arts education nonprofit, and they're incredible. And you can learn more about them, and I encourage you to do so at createca.net. Arts Integrated Education is math, science, history lessons that incorporate dance and music and painting and videography and all of these different art forms. Uh, it's meeting standards, but it's also meeting different learning types, right? So not everybody learns the same. Not everybody can sit in a classroom in rows pointed at the teacher lecturing and learn what they need to learn. Uh, some learn by touching, some learn by hearing, some learn by seeing. And these arts integrated lessons has something for everybody and it's communal. So these kids are working together and you can, you can like break these lessons down and everything that is like every component of the lesson has many purposes. And that's incredible. I mean, that's like what's happening in nature all around us. Nothing you see has only one purpose and it's, it's an inclusive, amazing, organic thing, and we should be really excited, and we need to, like, it's vital that we understand the potential here, uh, because these kids are the future, and if you look at the world around us, we need a well-balanced, self-assured, self-discovered future. And that's what we're offering these kids with arts integrated education. I visited a school in the Burton School District in Porterville a couple years ago, and it was a fourth grade class, right? So I went in and I had a, a we, there were a few of us with cameras in this room. These kids, they came in, they noticed us and then paid no more mind to us the entire rest of the lesson. So a fourth grade class, they were reading an excerpt from a high school level text. They were picking out emotion words, defining them and discussing them, talking about what anger is, what fear is, all these things. And then paintings were projected on the wall and they were asked to identify emotional characteristics. So, which are of course subjective, but the bared teeth could be anger. It could be fear. It could be embarrassment, right? Talking about what these things mean again and then that was review so these kids wrote had already written their own dialogues to reflect the emotions that were conveyed in this text right and so they did this as a group and then these groups took turns they they practiced and then they took turns acting out their lines what they'd written in front of a green screen in front of cameras in front of the rest of the class and there was a kid on the mics a kid on the lights a kid on the uh, yelling action a kid on the camera and then they went in as a group and they edited in the background to reflect the emotions that they were trying to convey. Incredible. And if you watch this, like, just look at the pure joy that these kids are experiencing. This is, this is engaging education. This is a fourth grade class. Yeah. So it's super duper important that you support this and you get excited because Create California is doing amazing things statewide. And so far, it's not really happening here yet because what it takes is it takes the community becoming passionate about it and showing up to school board meetings and pushing things in that direction. Because uh, 
Create California's blueprint for creative schools has been adopted by the state superintendent's office. So like the their their curriculum that they're that is being designed because Create California is made up of like 15 different nonprofits and they're all doing something different that is in line with the overall objective and everybody's on the same page and they're just amazing. Go to createca.net, learn more about them. I will try to make more videos explaining things in greater depth, but I'm trying to get all this in quickly. <sighs> yeah. So tag tag your parent friends, uh share this, invite people to the event page and join the Hop Hanford group. I will soon be making a Create Kings group. Uh yeah. Get excited, please. Thank you.